Hi, I'm Jeff Stockham, and this is Making Music Magazine. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Civil War brass bands and musical instruments. In the 1850s and 60s, just about every small town, village, crossroads, and city had its own brass band. So when the Civil War broke out, many of those bands enlisted right along with their local regiment to go serve in the army, either northern or southern. And the group that I play with, actually the, the various groups I play with, represent that sort of brass band. Now I'm going to show you some of these instruments. These are actual Civil War era instruments. This is an E-flat cornet, bell front, side action, rotary valves. This is a similar instrument, it's a B-flat cornet, pitched a little bit lower. This instrument is an alto horn, also with rotary valves and it's pitched a little lower yet, it fills in some of the middle voices. And I've also brought a couple of curious instruments which are typical for Civil War brass bands. These are over-the-shoulder Cornets, also known as sax horns. The reason that the bell pointed over the shoulder was that the band marched in front of the regiment and these in instruments threw the sound back towards the regiment so that they could hear their favorite tunes while they were on the march. And they were made in approximately five sizes, from the smallest, the E-flat over-the-shoulder cornet, all the way down to the E-flat over-the-shoulder tuba. Along with the brass band instruments, I've brought along some instruments used by what was called the field music. And the field music was the fife and drum and bugle corps and they provided all of the camp calls and the duty calls and the combat calls for the soldiers so that the soldiers could know what duty they were supposed to do or what maneuver they were supposed to perform. For instance, Reveille, time to get up in the morning. The fife The drum, 